Hi, I have a working AI image system here and I've been using it for almost 10 days now. There are actually two ASUS wireless routers and I'm gonna run a few tests to see the behavior of the AI image system in different situations. But before we start, I just need to point out that the purpose of this video is to observe the behavior of the AI image system in different situations, but based on my testing environment here. And it doesn't necessarily mean that everyone should get the exact same results. This actually makes much more sense when wireless networks are involved because there are many factors that can easily affect the performance and the quality of the network. What I'm gonna do is to explain as much as I can about the testing environment here. For example, the cable I used, the distance between the wireless routers and so on and so forth just to give you a better idea of what was going on in each and every test. Alright, so I'm gonna start off with this scenario and gradually make some changes. Right now the wireless routers are pretty close to each other. The distance is about 5 feet. They are also connected to each other with a CAT6 Ethernet cable. So right now the wired connection shows the speed of 1 gigabit per second. And in the wireless logs I can also see the speed for the 2.4 gigahertz radio and also 5 gigahertz radio connection between the wireless routers. So as you can see in this condition the AI mesh system has preferred the wired connection over the wireless connection for the inter-router communication. This makes sense because the wired connection is 1 gigabit per second full duplex whereas the wireless connection is half duplex. So now I'm gonna connect one laptop with an Ethernet cable to the primary wireless router and one laptop with an Ethernet cable to the secondary router. Then I'm gonna run an iPerf speed test. So now I wanna disconnect the cable between the wireless routers. But before I do, I'm gonna run a continuous ping to 8.8.8.8 on laptop 2 to see if it loses its internet connection during this transition. So now I'm gonna connect the wireless routers with an Ethernet cable again, but this time with a CAT5 cable. As you can see, the wired connection shows 100 megabit per second this time, and the wireless connection speed hasn't changed that much. So I thought this time the AI mesh system would prefer the wireless network over the wired network. Because first of all, the 5 GHz connection is way faster than the wired connection. And there are no other wireless clients connected to the wireless routers. And basically the wireless network is only used for the AI mesh system between the wireless routers. But to my surprise, as I connect the cable, the AI mesh system immediately switches to the wired connection. And as you can see, the connection priority is set to auto and I haven't even changed it to Ethernet. Okay, so now let's increase the distance between the wireless routers from 5 feet to 50 feet. Okay, so now I have disconnected the cables between the laptops and the wireless routers and connected them using the wireless network instead. 
Laptop 1 is closer to the primary router and laptop 2 is closer to the secondary router. So I can assume that laptop 1 must be connected to the primary router whereas laptop 2 must be connected to the secondary router. So if I want to determine which wireless router I'm connected to in a Windows machine, I can use this command and look for the BSSID of the wireless router that I'm connected to. Alright, that brings us to the interesting subject of roaming. When I first started testing the roaming between the wireless routers, I actually used the laptop one and walked back and forth between the wireless routers. However, with this setup that I have here, the roaming was only successful 20% of the time and it kind of felt like the laptop didn't even want to switch to the secondary router. The reason for that though was obvious. This laptop was still receiving a strong and powerful signal from the primary wireless router and it didn't even feel the need to use a different access point or wireless router. So I actually increased the distance between the wireless routers, which somewhat improved the roaming process, but it was still far from what I wanted. Something I should keep in mind though is that after all, roaming is the client's decision. Basically client is the one who decides on which access point or wireless router it should connect to. However, there are some roaming enhancement options available in today's wireless routers and access points that can help a wireless client to make a better and faster roaming decision. For example, one of them that is available in this ASUS wireless router and actually did the trick for me is this roaming assistant option here. Basically you can configure here that if the client's RSSI is lower than a specific number then disconnect the client so it would try to connect to another wireless router. So in my case when I checked my RSSI was around minus 65 when I was close to the secondary router. So when I set the roaming assistant to minus 55 for both 2.4 and 5 GHz radios, it worked just perfect for me. So now the question is, what exactly is the effect of this roaming on the client? One of the most vulnerable applications during roaming is actually voice over IP. So I have set up a system here so I can put it to the test. On the laptop, I started a Skype call to my cell phone which by the way is not connected to my Wi-Fi and is using its own 4G network. I'm also playing a music on the laptop and the cell phone is receiving the music through the Skype call. So now I want to see what happens to the music as I walk back and forth between the wireless routers. I also have a continuous ping to 8.8.8.8 running on the laptop to see if we lose any pings during the roaming.
All right, guys. So that was my test and experience with my AI mesh system here. Hope you liked it. I should say overall, after using it for about 10 days, I did not notice any major issue. There were two occasions though that the secondary router just lost its connection to the primary router. So I had to reboot the secondary router to fix the problem. It's a fairly new system, so I'm gonna wait for a couple of firmware updates and maybe do a version 2 of this video. So I can do more tests and give you an update on any possible improvements or changes. In the meantime though, let me know what you think. Have you used AI Mesh system? How was your experience? Or maybe there is something you want me to add to the second video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching and I see you next time.